Let's do this. High five. They look gorgeous. Wow, 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 wow. Another fun fact of the Notch life. Eh? You know, some people go into the woods to find some mushrooms, but here. Oh yeah, no actually, there needs to be basically two big pillows. So, What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Absolutely good morning. A fantastic morning. Today is, um, wait, the track day is on the 16th, which is tomorrow. That means today is 15th. That's like Nürburgring life, when you know which day it is of the month by uh, knowing when there's something happening. Today, no TF, which is unfortunate for the business, but fortunate for us as like normal social human beings because we are going to have a stroll a hike around the track gonna just like you know chill and enjoy something we've been wanting to do for a very long time hello tom how's it going good, yeah. yeah very good. good your video is going live tomorrow, tomorrow okay. so i'm very looking forward to see yes. your reactions we're still running a bit behind so you know when this has been shot and everything but uh yeah very excited and yes, uh, and hopefully we might shoot the boosted borders episode today with him about Tim's E36 which is over there yep. hiding in the shadows so who knows who knows well and are you coming with us for a stroll yes I think, so. I, think I will perfect Make the most of the weather. absolutely oh, nice. the weather is amazing yeah, yeah. definitely yeah. yeah cool well see you in a bit, yeah, a bit. Uh, what I was saying yeah we don't have much time to enjoy like you know time off because we're working all the time so today since the track is closed for Tristan Far and that means we can have a kind of well family time quality time with a family and friends and girl friends that little thing over there oh look at that oh how cute um yeah well that's probably my first bad joke of the day but uh apart from that oh hello thank you oh cuddles say hi comrades hi comrades yeah oh, you want to get off okay hello comrades good morning how are you what's up how are you fine how are you I'm good doing the RN Pro install, yeah. Yeah. reinstall. I think it's worth noting that, well, you see Robert working on his own car and that's something not many people do when they have the means and someone else to work on their car. But then again, he used to have a tuning company. I may have said too much because now you're gonna all ask the questions in the comments, like, tell us more, tell us more. And he wanted to keep it for himself. He might be mad, but I mean, I mean, he probably won't be that mad when I sold the P1 GTR to him. I don't know what happened to it. I mean, the McLaren called him and uh, he only said that. So who knows? One day we're gonna maybe have a P1 GTR. You already have a P1 GTR Spider, right, Maximus? Anyway, the reason why the track is closed, it's the best Fallen trophy. There is some kind of a special races, but apart from that, there is a four hour RCN race in comparison to the casual three hours RCN race and usually RCN is like time attack ish you need to set a lap time then do a lap close to the same lap time otherwise you're gonna get penalty or this and that and this and that but today it is just like a casual race first come first served or well first come first wins so it is a four hour race starting also on the GP and not on the T13 entrance so while we're gonna go for a walk we might be able to see those cars passing by maybe talk to you through through the corner sections i don't know i should probably end the shot here because i really don't know what to say about today well let's go get some lunch and because the weather is so amazing look at the amount of bikes here and look at the convertibles who is running without the convertible and look at the vr6 that's amazing and a type r unfortunately there is not going to be any car spotting today because the prototypes well there is the only race cars and yeah, the track is closed, so it's mostly tourists. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous, though. Mmm, Matt. German delicacy. And lots of things for our lovely colleagues. We're not. We're lying. What? We're not at the bar. Well, not we. Tim is. I need my sunglasses. Oh, uh, come on. Or I'll walk to like no, 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 dude. No, dude. Get your sunglasses, I go get the car started. The plan is we are going to Brunchen. What? How does that work? Gonna, get... How are we going to get back to Brunchen then? Walking! Why? Just do it! Just do it! Well, no, I'm wearing like ASICS shoes that I have bought. Diane, I bought one uh, pair for Diane as well, like three months ago. 
pretty expensive ones in anticipation to start running in the mornings but then sleep was a bit more important but anyway the plan is we are going with three cars to Brunchen all of us park there and then walk all the way to Carousel and we are in the barn means Tim is in the barn still fixing the RN Pro on the um, on the on the on the X631 because the model that we had installed first with RN was a demo model and then we purchased one and that's a long story and he's staying here because he's installing it on the car plus he will need to pick someone up for, from the airport and that's just a long story now that you're gonna think oh Tim team there is no Tim and team uh, Tim is antisocial he's not coming with you for a stroll no it's just like that so let's go to Brunchen and welcome at Brunchen and Hello Herbie, well not really Herbie, but the beetle, two beetles, and Diana. I'm already tired. No, you have to be excited for this. Yay! The shoes finally will get some usage. Sports! Sports! Yay! Yes. Um, <laughs> just a warning, I'm gonna leave my gimbal here because I don't want to carry that thing all the way to the top of the... And another warning, I'm gonna complain from start to end about how tired I am. <laughs> yes, Max! <laughs> <laughs> there is one, at least one person excited. They look gorgeous, honestly. Oh, and there's the aerial atom without a wing. You can definitely tell it's a good weather by the amount of cars that are here to watch the Westfalen Trophy. Oh, that's an interesting wrap. Very interesting. Sorry, too lazy to walk all the way there. You excited for a walk? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always the girls that complain? Yeah, he's walking. <laughs> Alright guys, let's do this. Let's do this. High five. High five. Yay! That's a fancy color for a station Audi 80, I think. Maybe 100, something like that. Okay, some proper car porn. A Boat 33 GTR. A 190e. I'm actually thinking of getting one like to be a bit different than all those E36s. A Shark 635. Mmm, yummy. And then a Mach or Mach, well, Mach 1. So three convertible becomes also pretty a rarity those days. And ooh, nice color. It's almost the same as Diana's, I think. Oh, look, another Mustang. Wow, 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 wow. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Oh my god, we definitely have a spot of the day with uh, Red Isetta. I think it's an Isetta. I might be wrong. What is it? Trojan. Holy cow. This is great. This is absolutely great. And you even have a, like rear seats. This is perfect. I didn't see any cars passing by. And last year's race was red flagged like one hour before the race because there was a pretty bad accident at Fairsiphon. So I hope it's now not the case and that the race is just simply over. And this is something we will see in a bit. Yeah, can you get in focus? Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. So, Leningrad Pirates. <laughs> That's interesting. Anyway, one of the. Did you know? things if you have lapped the North Life recently you know if you lap it on such a daily basis like I do between 1 and 20 laps every day you kind of start to notice every small single change to that and one of those changes is over there at Brunchen or Ashbach Brunchen is a big mushroom there is also I believe three mushrooms growing at T13 something I might be yeah yeah so, we're last year already you yeah. just saw a bonga truck carrying I believe an old Vento or uh, something like a station-ish, well not a station but like an old Volkswagen. So I hope they will resume the race. I feel very sorry for someone who has lost his car because it looked fairly totaled. But hopefully we will still get to see some race action today. And this means obviously that the race hasn't been red flagged for now. You know, I'm having a nice flashback. If someone has started watching my vlogs from the very beginning, I believe like vlog number, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, somewhere within the 10, 
It was the start of last year and the very first uh, race, it's not race, it's called the Einstaufahrten, which is like the, um, the starting, testing drives for all the race teams that are happening roughly the second weekend of March. And we're standing here also at Wippermann. I think actually somewhere there on that particular uh, piece of tree, I don't know, it's, uh, what's it called in English, I forgot the name. But anyway, me, Ray, uh, Daniel, and we were waiting because by the time we arrived here, it was also red flag and there was um, typical Nürburgring happened. Uh, the rumor started that the M6 GT3 ramped into a Marshall car and someone died. And we were like, oh no, because the happenings of 2015 when the GTR killed a spectator were so fresh and uh, by the beginning of 2016 they got rid of the speed limits because they were imposed after that crash and we're like shit if that happens then we well we and the Nürburgring is screwed again and it didn't happen and now it's kind of a deja vu if you understand what I'm saying that we are again here at Whippermann it was red flag and finally the car started driving again so just a little personal story I wanted to share with you and I would be happy if someone would comment and say hey I remember that thing I'm one of the first subs it's because I can imagine that many of you probably stopped watching by now or yeah a lot of new people just didn't get the time or not interested in watching the old vlogs I actually don't like the old vlogs because I wasn't using any gimbal just like I do now because I'm too lazy <laughs> but uh, when I start because I shot them all throughout the 2016 and only in December I started editing them and I'm like holy shit they are really bad but actually that particular vlog I'm talking about uh, when we're standing here the deja vu vlog uh, I was still using gimbal but then I thought oh it doesn't make much difference because I never edited them but anyway you also were not featuring Diana back then. You were featuring, featured in it. We just weren't seeing each other that much, for obvious reasons. Because I was stuck at the ring garage, never lapping the track. You were stuck at RR or, or at or wherever you was. Ooh. And the second group is coming in. You want to see race cars, okay? So we are now at Hohe Acht, which is considered to be the highest point of the Nordschleife, uh, but apparently it is actually T13. And here you can go towards, well, or past the casual way towards the carousel. Or here, this is the old part of the track, the Stars track, where they used to test all the cars back in the 30s. And this small, well, how should I say? Um, um, forgot the name. Anyway, this thing here, it's to make sure that when all those cars who cannot come uphill and blow up their engines because they're overloaded, that the oil will just go down in the middle and go there. And another very interesting thing is that this is in fact just the concrete from the 30s. So this is almost a century old, well to be precise 80 years old, but it's a very interesting fact and we are now on a very historical part of the Nürburgring. And if the kids are not too tired and okay, we might be climbing it on the way back because first we're just gonna go past the racetrack to enjoy a bit more of the cars. And you know some people go into the woods to find some mushrooms but here you can just find here and there's carbon fiber as well. I want it. Yeah, take they take, I think I'm pretty sure we can this is like beyond repairable. Yeah. Another fun fact of the Nordschleife we are right now at the Marshall Post 147 you can see it there and there used to be a cabin here a cabin in the woods or the Marshall Post and unofficially or maybe officially this corner name was also 147 like you have now the T13 but now it was the 147 and since the the cabin got destroyed I believe like 20 ish years ago maybe a bit more uh, the corner name disappeared as well so now you only have the carousel and going towards the whole act which is a little small Norschleife effects for you guys
Another thing that I want to point out, what you see once you start walking the track, look there, there is the carousel. And there is Star Striker, what I crashed them for, obviously. But when you drive the track, it looks pretty much flat, but see how deep it is down there, and then you climb, you're already climbing the track till the carousel and even more till the whole arc, obviously. And a bit of more wildlife of Nürburgring. That's a lot more interesting than race cars after you spent years here. Tom Stamp, the official National Geographic photographer. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's perfect. You can be like David Attenborough's sidekick. And after roughly 30 minutes or 40 minutes descent, we have arrived to the inside part of the carousel. And over there are good friends of ours, Patrick Funk and uh, Kevin Pex, who are well, official VLAN and RCM photographers. And when we asked them, like, why was the race red flagged? What we were thinking. And they said, what? Red flag? No, it wasn't red flag. Before that, there was a young top timer race. And now it's ours again. So let's have a look at the amazing race cars passing by. <laughs> Some AMG advertisement here, not intended at all. <laughs> you could have seen that most of those cars don't go that fast around the carousel. The thing is, you can only go well between 60 and 80 kilometers an hour, 85 when you have very good suspension set up, but faster than that, the laws of physics will just kick you out and that's what you see what happened to the Cayman almost. Luckily it wasn't that bad, but trust me, I've seen worse. So just for you kids, in case you decide to drive the Nürburgring on your own for the first time, make sure not to go too fast. Between 60 and 80, that's the speed that you should be doing in the carousel on the inside part. And eventually we have decided to climb the Stahlstrecke. 450 meters long, up to 27% inclination, or yeah, I think I'm saying that right. But this is something you don't want to be doing if you don't have a bit of condition. Uh, stamina, that's the right word. Condition is more like a Dutch word. English, yeah but let's go let's go let's go by the way did you know that in the HEBs or uh, what well, the HEBs again the German word the TNC stands and conditions of the Nürburgring Nordschleife you're not allowed to drive the Steistrecke it actually says it is prohibited to drive the Steistrecke after burning lots of calories we have finally made it and we are back at Hohe Acht and it would be nice if there would be like a race car passing through so the shot would be like amazing or something I'll just keep waiting I'll just keep waiting oh there is what's it gonna be E36 oh a Sirocco with a huge wing you want to see some OCD stuff look at that the grass starts where the shadow stops or starts whatever And the fast forward to Lindner Hotel. And this is my most favorite drink. If you're ever gonna be here, make sure to try Ipanema. Alcohol free, by the way, because we're all responsible drivers. Speaking of drivers, I told you today already we're gonna have tomorrow a track day with a lot of cars, a lot of fun, and our amazing lounge. So something I'm very looking forward to. Should be a good day. Should be definitely a good day. And one more thing that I'm very looking forward to is tonight's barbecue. Are we barbecuing? We're barbecue. Amazing. Because it's Trevor's birthday. Has been. But still. It was. We can pretend it's still your birthday. Birthday weekend. Oh yeah. And now to our taxi. Why? We're not never gonna fit with three people in there. This is our taxi. I need something cutier. Yeah, something cutier. Oh my god, I love chicken. Tiffany's chicken if you want. Maybe we should put one of the transponders on the grill so we know how fast it's going. So someone was staying in our hotel, and he gave us the jamon, so shout out to him. Oh, I can find his name. Yeah. I can he, find he where he lives. The, <laughs> he rented the polo, right? It made me sad. Or was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that guy with this weekend. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. I can give you a card. 
Oh, yeah. Especially well, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh my god. Where's your driver? It's a real Ferrari fire. Yes. You don't need a Ferrari to light a fire. It's lit. Yeah. It's lit. Alright guys. Trevor, make a Happy wish. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Trevor. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. <laughs> 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 nom nom. Aha! Uh -huh. Moritz is with the GTR! Aha! Uh -huh.